Hello and welcome to your Friday, January 29th day weather video update. It's been a windy day across many portions of the state, and especially along the I-25 and I-80 corridors. I-80 earlier today between Laramie and Rollins was closed for several hours due to blowing, drifting snow, slick and icy roads, and near zero visibility from westerly winds gusting to 60 miles an hour or more at times. And we're going to start today's outlook by looking at the GFS 500 millibar chart. It's showing us energy and wind movement through the middle latitudes of our atmosphere, about 10,000 feet above the surface. And we can see the wind flow is out of the west, southwest, moving into Wyoming. This is bringing moisture and orographic snows, like we talked about yesterday, to our western and eventually southern mountains. It's also producing the strong and gusty winds that we're seeing across the region and state today. As we move into tonight and tomorrow, a little weather disturbance right here moves across the state. And as it does so, we're going to be looking at some light snow and snow showers increasing north to south and west to east on Saturday. And there's also going to be colder Canadian air diving down at the surface with temperatures turning colder through the day Saturday. And that's going to set the stage for well below average temperatures as we head out of the weekend and into early next week. As we progress into Sunday, though, I want you to look out to the Pacific the eastern Pacific just off the west coast. We have a trough of low pressure digging, a little bit of ridging in the Rockies, then our another trough up into the upper Midwest. And what's going to happen over the next 48 to 60 hours is that this low pressure system is going to develop and move east. And as we get into Sunday night and Monday, it's going to turn into a rather significant winter storm across the central Rockies and Plains. Here we are in the Monday, and now the low pressure system in the upper levels of the atmosphere is over northern New Mexico and the Texas Panhandle. What this is going to do is create good upslope in the Colorado and far southern Wyoming. It will be the southern third of the state basically along the I-80 corridor on south that will see redeveloping snow late Sunday into Monday. And let's talk more about that here now and just how much snow we can expect across the state. Here is your day weather snow forecast for Saturday through 3 p.m. This basically holds true from late tonight through tomorrow. Out in the western mountains, anywhere from an additional 5 to 8, maybe 5 to 10 inches, 2 to 5 inches overnight tonight on into early to midday Saturday. And this holds true for far western Wyoming from about Lyman or Granger on westward, but even from Rock Springs westward into Utah. Expect slick and icy roads to be developing tonight. And through the day Saturday, we're going to be looking at snow marching south across the state with slick and icy roads developing along I-90 and I-25. It'll be just the far southeastern corner of Wyoming. That will basically be dry through most of tomorrow, but come late Saturday into Saturday night, the I-25 corridor from out Glendo on south and I-80 from the summit on east will start to see some snow as well. And while winds not as strong tomorrow, we're still going to be looking at west to southwest winds across the I-80 corridor and the southern sections of I-25, anywhere from 15 to 30 to as much as 25 to 45 miles an hour in the Arlington and Elk Mountain area. So blowing, drifting snow and reduced visibility will be a possibility. And Take a look up by Gillette. The northern section of the state going to be looking at northwesterly winds, 15 to 40 on Saturday. And that's associated with the cold front out of Canada dropping south. And that'll be bringing in colder temperatures across the state. 30s up north Saturday, 40s in the far southeast. Now, Saturday afternoon and evening on through early Sunday, the focus of the snow is really across the far southern sections of the state. But even central Wyoming still seeing some light snow and snow shower activity, slick and icy and poor travel conditions likely all across I-80 come Saturday night and likewise on I-25. The snow not heavy across lower elevations but enough to make for slick and icy conditions and also blowing and drifting snow. During the day Sunday mostly dry in between the snow events but come late Sunday into Monday it'll be far southern Wyoming that'll start to see a resurgence of some light to moderate snow and cold east to northeast winds and we could be looking at anywhere from another three to eight inches overnight Sunday into Monday for the mountains and one to four inches across much of the southeastern plains. Look on south into Colorado. The heavy snow is down there. Mountains really going to get pounded. Likewise for many sections of the plains and they're going to see snow on into Monday night and Tuesday. 
Weather highlights across Wyoming through this weekend. Snow heavy in the western mountains tonight into early Saturday. Light snow western valleys, also western I-80 tonight. Deteriorating travel conditions, turning colder Saturday into Sunday. Snow spreading east and south by late Saturday. Light snow statewide with impacted travel and livestock conditions. Mostly dry through much of Sunday. Cold and breezy to windy though, with still slick and icy travel conditions. Redeveloping snow southern and southeastern Wyoming Sunday night into Monday. Thanks for tuning in today. If you have to be out and about this weekend, be safe.